folks, and welcome to one of the big occasions in the college football calendar. Two teams that have earned their right to play for the championship of the ACC. Think about all the playoff and national championship dreams that have been launched from this stadium. There's a lot more at stake than a championship trophy here today. There's playoff positioning and potentially just getting into the playoff. That's the two-minute warning in this close first half. The offense trying to score and claim the lead before the break. Looking to throw it again. This time it's complete. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. The Hurricanes come to the line with first and goal. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Fights his way. On first down, it's play action. He's going for a big play downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Canes. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. When they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Fires it to the wideout. He's got his man wide open. Brought down to the 28, and it's good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, looking to throw the ball. Oh, the pass is picked off. Going the other way, can they stop him? Past the 10. Gonna take it all the way in. Pick six. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Not gonna be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he's got it. Tackle made, but he gets the ball out across the 20-yard line. Good game. Man, you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing, trying to create outside the pocket, but they've got him for a sack. This is good pressure by the defense, and it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. Running, here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. The offense recovers it. They maintain possession and lose a bunch of yards. So two losses in a row puts them in a tough spot, third and very long. He'll take a deep shot here. And he breaks clear down the right side. It's a foot race. Touchdown for the U. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. The Cades will line up on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Receiver makes the grab. He takes on first and ten here looking to throw the ball. Airing this one out toward the sideline. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Chris, they come up with the incompletion, but I like the idea of stretching the defense. It can do so much to help out with your short to intermediate passing game, even affect the running game by making those safeties aware that you're willing to take a shot downfield. It's incomplete that was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. It's caught downfield. Marked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This air attack, no problem moving the ball up and down the field today. Back to throw again. He makes the grab. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. You cannot make contact with the quarterback after that throw. 
It'll cost the defense. Here's a first and ten play. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. First down, looking to throw the football. Hits the running back in the flat. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. They look to throw it here on second down. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. That's another strike for this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against his secondary. Let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open and the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. On the double. Here we go. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yard. You know, they try to run the football here, and they're unable to get that first down. The clock does keep moving. The big question now is third okay, down. What do you do? Keep it on the ground again, or roll the dice, throw the football, knowing an incompletion, the clock will stop. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much. They'll try the right here. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. And the offense takes timeout to stop the clock with just 11 seconds remaining. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Looks to the left, and it's complete. A timeout stops the clock with just seven seconds remaining in the game. Defense setting up for a passing down now with seven DBs on the field. Quarterback looking to scramble. Pro carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. And the Canes begin a new series here, first and ten. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. So tied up after regulation, we go to overtime. Remember, in college football, it's dueling possessions. In the second overtime, if we get there, you have to go for two points if you score a touchdown. And the third overtime, Kirk, just becomes a series of two-point tries. And I know that's your favorite, to see if we can get to that third series in these overtimes. I love extra football, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see who's going to win it. So here comes our first play of overtime. Here comes a first down pass attempt. The pocket breaking down. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. Slides down to avoid the tackle. So the offense will set up first and goal here in this first overtime. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The Hurricanes will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. And they'll get him down that time. So we're set up now for the biggest third down attempt all the game. Can the offense punch it in here in overtime? Quarterback pre-snap adjustments now for this defense. Looking to throw on third and goal. Into the end zone to take the lead. 
Now, it's always a special year and a moment these players will never forget. They can call themselves champions of the ACC. With everything they put into it, now the spot that will get even brighter with the playoff spot locked up, we're going to find out how they'll fare against the other best teams in the country. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.